What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And if you haven't heard, iOS 8 jailbreak has been released. Now I've actually done a tutorial on that jailbreak earlier today, so if you guys wanna check that out, then be sure to check the link in the description below or I'll put a link on the screen right here for you to check out. Now you actually have to jailbreak before you try to install Cydia. So if you haven't jailbroken, then you need to go check out that video right now. And then once you're finished and jailbroken, then you can come back to this video. So you can see right here, if I swipe all the way over on my phone, you'll notice that I have the Pangu app. So we're gonna tap on the Pangu app and open that up. So this is what you're gonna get once you jailbreak. Now we're gonna tap on open SSH. So just gonna tap on the little down arrow right there. And then you should see an install button right up here. So you absolutely have to have open SSH in order to do this method right here that I'm about to show you in order to install Cydia. So just make sure that you tap install. It should download and then say that it's done. And then once you've installed that, then you'll be good to go. So now that you have that, there's gonna be a few more things that you need to download onto your computer. The first two things are gonna be these two dev files. And I'll put a link in the description below for both of these. Should be very self-explanatory in the description. If you guys get lost or anything, I'll put a step-by-step -step tutorial in text as well. But make sure that you download both of these and I've just saved them to my desktop just for easy access. Now, once you have both of those dev files, there's gonna be something else that you need. And for me, I'm gonna be using FileZilla 2. Now, you can use CyberDuck 2, or if you're on Windows, you can use WinSCP. But for me, I'm going to be doing it on the Mac and I'm going to be using FileZilla 2 basically because I couldn't get CyberDuck 2 to work. I'm not sure what was going on there, but anyways, we're going to be using FileZilla 2 in this tutorial. So what you want to do is go ahead and open up FileZilla 2. And then right here for the host, this is where you're going to put the IP address of your phone. So you can see right here if we go into our settings and then we open up our Wi-Fi. So you're just going to tap on Wi-Fi right here and then tap on the I then you'll see your IP address right here. So we're just gonna type in our IP address, which is 192.168.1.13. Now once you have that, just go over to the username, and the username is gonna be the same for all of us. So it's just gonna be root, R-O-O-T, and then for password, it's gonna be the default password, which is Alpine, which is A-L-P-I-N-E. Now for the port, I'm gonna use port 22. You can use port 21 if port 22 doesn't work, just try them both and I'm just gonna hit enter right here so it should go ahead and give me a little pop-up you can see right here it says the server's host key is unknown you have no guarantee that the server is the computer you think it is that's okay we're gonna go ahead and click OK because we know that we're connecting to our own iPhone so if you're not used to seeing stuff like this it could look a little overwhelming but it's very very simple I'm gonna walk you through step by step so all we want to do is go ahead and click on var and then we're gonna scroll down here to root. So keep scrolling and then tap on root. And then we're gonna go into the media folder. So just double click on that. And then we're gonna create a new folder. So we're just gonna right click or double click sort of on your Mac trackpad if you do that. And then we're gonna tap on create directory. So the new directory we're going to install is called Cydia. So just type in Cydia right there and then click okay. So now we have a new folder within media and it's called Cydia. So we're gonna double click on Cydia and open that up. And then once we open Cydia up, then we want to create a new directory again. We're gonna call this one auto install, capital A-U-T-O, capital I-N-S-T-A-L-L. -L. And then we'll click okay. And then we're gonna open up auto install. So just double click on that. And then this is where we're going to put our devs, which you can just drag and drop. So if we copy both of these just by dragging over them, then we're gonna drop them in right here to auto install. And they should go ahead and transfer, as you can see right here, they're both in there now. And now we're completely done with FileZilla. Now, FileZilla doesn't actually have a command line interface, so what I'm gonna be using is terminal. All Macs should have terminal, so go ahead and type in terminal in the spotlight and hit enter, and it should go ahead and open up just like this. So you can see right here what we're gonna be doing is SSH in to our phone again. So we're gonna type in SSH space root, R-O-O-T, and then the at sign, and then you're gonna put in your IP address. So whatever your IP address was. Mine was 192.168.1.13. So we're gonna go ahead and hit enter, and when we hit enter, you'll get a password prompt. The password prompt is going to be Alpine, the same that we had previously. So just type in Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E, and then hit enter. 
Now, if you get any type of warning right here, it says, "Do you are you sure you want to connect? Then just type out yes, hit enter, and then go ahead and enter your password. So if you remember where we put this, we put it in our auto install folder. So we're going to have to go to that folder in order to install it. So we're going to type in CD, which means change directory. And then we're going to type in slash var slash root slash media with a capital M I A slash Cydia slash auto install. So again, I'm going to be putting this command down in the description below so you guys don't have to actually type it out completely. You can just copy and paste this into your terminal. So we're going to change directory just by hitting enter. And now you can see we're actually in that folder right here. So now what we want to do is put in a command. Now I have this copied so I don't have to type it all the way out. So you can see right here, I'm just going to paste it. And this is the command. Again, I'm going to be putting this in the description below so you guys can just copy and paste this. That way you don't have to type the entire thing out. But this is going to install both of those devs. So just go ahead and paste that and then hit enter. And you should see that it's going to install right here. So that means that it did work completely fine. So now you can see right here, if we go to our phone and we swipe all the way over, you'll notice that I don't have Cydia because I have to reboot my phone. So just hold down the power button and the home button until you get a Apple logo. So it'll go ahead and shut down here. And then once we see the Apple logo, we can go ahead and let go just like that. And then once it boots back up, you should see Cydia installed on your device. All right, for full disclosure, it actually did not work the very first time that I did it. I slide to unlock, and then when I went over, there wasn't Cydia. But as you can see right now, I have Cydia. So if I open that up, it should go ahead and start to prepare the file system. So the first time that I unlocked it, Cydia wasn't there, and all I did was go back to the steps where I put in the dev files into that auto install folder and then I logged into terminal and I did all those steps once again basically reinstalling it and once I reinstalled it it worked just fine so if it doesn't show up if Cydia doesn't show up the first time that you install those packages and then you reboot your device go ahead and just do it once again go through the entire thing one more time and give it a shot just to see if it's going to work because that's what I had to do with mine and preparing the file system does take a while, so go ahead and give it some time. I'm going to go ahead and speed through this so we don't have to wait. All right, so now it's prepared the file system and rebooted. So you can see right here, if we go ahead and swipe over to Cydia once again, and if we open that up, you're going to see Cydia on iOS 8. Now, of course, you actually are going to see this little warning right here saying that you are on iOS 8. Almost nothing currently works on iOS 8 yet. So don't expect anything to work. But that's how all new jailbreaks start out. Nothing is compatible and everything needs to be updated. So if you want to give this a shot, let me know how it goes in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. It really helps me out a lot. If you have any questions, be sure to leave me a comment in the comments below. I'll be sticking around for a while to answer those comments. Now keep in mind that there's probably going to be an easier way to do this in the future, but if you're on the bleeding edge and you want to get on that jailbreak with Cydia on iOS 8 right now, this is the only way to do it. Alright guys, if you want to see more of my videos on everything jailbreak as well as everything Apple, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Alright guys, until next time, peace.